Good day everyone! In today's video, we are going to discuss the limit of functions using the limit theorems. First of, let's have a short review of the 9 limit theorems. Theorem number 1 is where the limit of the function is the constant itself. Theorem number 2 says that the limit of x as x approaches to c is equals to c. Theorem number 3 says that the limit of k times f of x as x approaches to c is equals to k times the limit of f of x as x approaches to c. Theorem number 4 says that the limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches to c is equals to the limit of f of x as x approaches to c plus the limit of g of x as x approaches to c. Theorem number 5 is almost the same as theorem number 4 but the operation that was used is multiplication. The same situation exists for theorem number 6 but it is for division. Theorem number 7 is where we would first find the limit of the function inside the parentheses before we proceed with the exponent. Theorem number 8 is also the same as theorem number 7 but for radical signs. And lastly, for theorem number 9, all we need to do is substitute the value of a for the variable x. Now that we are done reviewing, let us move on to the first example. Note that, that the given limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to 5. The limit of g of x as x approaches to a is equal to negative 3. And the limit of h of x as x approaches to a is equal to negative 2. Here is the first example. The limit of f of x squared times g of x squared all over h of x. The first thing that we need to do is to substitute the values of the following functions. So that would be the limit of 5 as x approaches to a squared times the limit of negative 3 as x approaches to a squared all over the limit of negative 2 as x approaches to a. Using that theorem number 7, we know that we should find the limit of the function inside the parentheses first. But we also know that the theorem number 1 says that the limit is the constant itself. So the answer would be 5 squared times negative 3 squared all over negative 2. Now we just simplify. 25 times 9 all over negative 2 and the answer would be negative 225 divided by 2 or negative 112.5. For number 2, the limit of 3 times f of x squared minus g of x times h of x as x approaches to e. First, we need to substitute the values of the function, so that would be 3 times the limit of 5 as x approaches to a squared minus the limit of negative 3 as x approaches to a times the limit of negative 2 as x approaches to a. Here we can see that positive 3 in the left side of the limit of 5 as x approaches to a because according to the theorem number 3, k times f of x as x approaches to c is equal to k times the limit of f of x as x approaches to c. Now, using to theorem number 1, where the limit is the constant itself, our answer would be 3 times 5 squared plus 3 times negative 2. We just simplify. 3 times 25 minus 6, 75 minus 6 and the answer would be 69. Now let's proceed for number 3. The limit of negative 4 times function of x plus 8 all over 7 minus g of x times h of x. Next, we substitute the corresponding values of the function in the given, and that would be negative 4 times the limit of 5 as x approaches to a plus 8 all over 7. The limit of negative 3 as x approaches to a times the limit of negative 2 as x approaches to a. Same as the last time, we can see that negative 4 is on the left side of the limit of 5 as x approaches to a because of theorem number 3. Next, using theorem number 1 where the limit is the constant itself, it would be negative 4 times 5 plus 8 all over 7 plus 3 times negative 2. Next is we just simplify. Negative 20 plus 8 divided by 7 minus 6. And the answer would be negative 12. Now let's proceed for the next problem, number 4. The limit of 10 times function of x minus 2 over 9 times g of x cubed. Again, 
we must substitute the values of the function in the given and that would be 10 times the limit of 5 as x approaches to a minus 2 over 9 times the limit of negative 3 as x approaches to a cubed. Again, 10 is on the left side of the limit of 5 as x approaches to a because of theorem number 3. After this, the first thing we need to solve is the number inside the parentheses since theorem number 7 states that we should find the limit of the function inside the parentheses first before moving on to the exponent. So again, using the theorem number 1, it would be 10 times 5 minus 2 over 9 times negative 3 cubed. Now, we just simplify. 10 times 5 is 50 and negative 2 over 9 times negative 27 is 6. 50 plus 6 is equals to 56, so that is our answer. Now, let's proceed for our last problem, number 5. The limit of h of x minus 12 times the function of x over g of x squared. First, substitute the corresponding values of the function in the given, and that would be the limit of negative 2 as x approaches to a minus negative 12 times the limit of 5 as x approaches to a over the limit of negative 3 as x approaches to a squared. Negative 12 is on the left side of the limit because of theorem number 3. Next, using theorem number 1 where the limit is the constant itself, the answer would be negative 2 minus 12 times 5 divided by negative 3 squared. Next, we just simplify negative 2 minus 60 divided by 9 which is equal to negative 62 over 9. 